Hello everyone! How are you? I hope you're doing fine despite of this pandemic. Today, I'm going to discuss a basic topic in high school mathematics, but you must master this. So, obviously, we're going to discuss addition of integers. Before we go on to adding of integers, we must review the concept of absolute value. Okay, say for example, absolute value of negative one. The answer is positive one. Absolute value of positive two. The answer is positive two. So meaning, absolute value is just a numerical value of a number regardless of its sign. So meaning, you just take the positive value of the given integer now let's go on to adding of integers okay example you're given three plus four so of course it's very easy we know it this is elementary so the answer is seven how about if you have negative three plus negative 4. So as you can see, as observed, they have the same sign. So that would be our first rule. Adding integers with same sign. So what will you do? So you just take away each absolute value of the given integer. So absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3. Absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4. So just add 3 and three and 4, that is 7. And then, you copy the sign, which is negative. Now, another example. Negative 10 plus negative 3. The same thing, they have the same sign. So, just take the absolute value of each number. So, absolute value of negative 10 is positive 10. Absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3. Just add the absolute values that is equal to 13. And then, you copy the sign. And that's it. So, any adding integers with same sign, you just add the absolute value of the two numbers and then you copy the sign. Okay? How about if we add integers with different sign? Okay. Say for example, negative 7 added by 2. So, as, as you can see, they have different signs. So, you just take the absolute value of each integer. So, absolute value of negative 7 is 7. Absolute value of 2 is 2. So, here, we're going to subtract their absolute values. So, 7 minus 2, that is 5. And then, you copy the sign of the integers who has greater absolute value. So, of course, we, we, we can see here that negative 7 has a greater absolute value, which is 7. So, you copied the sign of negative 7, which is negative. Meaning, negative 7 plus 2 is negative 5. Now, another, an, another example. 5 plus negative 3. The same thing, they have different sign. So you take the absolute value of each integer. So absolute value of 5 is 5. Absolute value of negative 3 is 3. And then you subtract. 5 minus 3, that is 2. And then, you copy 
the sign of the integers was greater absolute value. So, among the two numbers, the, the integer was greater absolute value is 5. So, the sign of 5 is 2. I mean, the sign of 5 is positive. So, meaning, the answer is positive 2. Another example. Negative 4 plus 1. So the same thing. You take the absolute value of each number. So, absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4. Absolute value of 1 is 1. Then you subtract 4 minus 1, that is 3. Okay, now the sign. So, you copy the sign of the integers, the integer who has the greater absolute value. So, the greater absolute value is negative 4. Meaning, the sign of the answer is negative. So, negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. 